Hello fellow bushcrafters, Bush and Bright here. Today I would like to talk about outdoor equipment, one of those outdoor equipment that um, I really like using in winter time. Well, last year I have actually uh, constructed the uh, do-it-yourself PVC pipe snowshoes. It worked pretty well and um, I really liked it, but also there was a bit of problem as um, it wasn't, um, how to say, as steady as it could have been. That uh, it was a bit tricky to use as well, but I had quite fun with it. But this year, in Christmas, I have got a pair of this uh, US arm force snowshoes from a very famous uh, army supply shop in Finland. Uh, to be honest I haven't got chance to use this because this year in Finland we got the snow quite late. It's actually recently finally it's got uh, deep enough to use snowshoes. So what well, I am actually looking forward to use this like this weekend. But before that I needed to set this one up. When I unpacked this, the binding and actual snowshoes came in the separate packages. Um, according to the shop explanation, uh, this is army surplus. The, this uh, snowshoes itself is uh, used, but the bindings are brand new. Uh, so I had to put those together. Uh, before going forward with the about the setting up this one, I would like to go through a bit about the, the snowshoes itself. Before the World War II, Second World War, they have had the different type of snowshoes used in the army. Uh, after that, they have changed to this uh, locket type uh, snowshoes. It's um, traditional. Uh, Alaskan style or Canadian style snowshoes. It's anyway they have changed it to this shape and uh, this one is made frame is made of uh, magnesium and the webbings or this uh, webs here these are made from uh, steel wire and uh, basically it's uh, all metal. Um, Compared to the modern, this uh, nowadays uh, new type of snowshoes, it yes, it is heavy compared to the woods made of like traditional way, like uh, with uh, by with the wood and sinews. Yes, it is heavy, but considering it is metal, since it's a magnesium, it's really light. And look at it. Even though they said this is used, I don't see that much of scratched or the wear out. So it's basically brand new. It's very serviceable condition. And if I look, I don't know if the camera shows it reflects pretty strong. Uh, here it says uh, US 1982 mug line of Canada. And actually I realized another one has the uh, date of 1978. So actually this is not uh, or wasn't originally a pair or not m manufactured at the same time. But well this is a mass manufactured product of course both are identical. And, and the back side is like this. There's a bit of the jimping or spikes, a bit of wear out in here, but it's not really a lot. Um, it's basically a basic snowshoes, but US Army surplus. And the uh, sweet thing is uh, this is uh, how much was it 67 no sorry 69 euro um, that is 
about half price of the modern snowshoes which you buy new from the sports shop so considering that I think this is really worth worth buying okay now let's talk about the bindings <laughs> when I got this package the bindings were in the original package wrapped in the plastics and came with instruction how to put the bindings the thing is the instruction is very brief it was brief as as good as didn't have one and on top of that a page the second page of the instruction was missing from my package I could have complained the shop but since the instruction was also uh, the picture of the instruction was also uploaded on the demo shop website I didn't bother do that to complain about it I just checked it from the website but um, it's very difficult to figure it out how to do it the only thing I could manage to easily manage to figure out is that the what bindings goes where this is a two parts binding the toe piece toe strap and the heel strap heel strap attaches to the most front line this this line most outside and so that this side and then most inside uh, this line here goes the toe strap toe strap is was a, a relatively easy straightforward you just put through loop it around and use the binding comes in from here yeah comes in from here use this uh, take this one out and show a bit better uh, use this uh, clip to hold it in place and you can adjust the links and so on so on the tricky part was the heel strap part of here this binding part first I didn't realize what the instruction was describing because picture was like hand draw very simple I, I gonna attach the picture on this video as well but uh, it's as I said it's as good as don't have one and uh, on, also the funny thing is that the, this clip is backwards if you usually you think that if you put through the binding this drop down up from the front goes through then this should be facing other way but this is not it opens on this so if I put the strap from this side to this side and I pull it just releases so that was the problem I couldn't figure out then what I realized was that I could put through first this is the binding where it starts go there go under the wire come up then first this uh, hole on the clip I put it down then take it from the back side of the loop up then through from the back side of the clip that way it snugly stays there also then when I need to adjust <coughs> with one hand a bit difficult I just need to pull this strap straight forward then it tightens up so that makes totally sense then here is this uh, funny stuff the oval ring and uh, elastic band in here elastic band I easily figured it out it's most likely that this loose end has to go there but the thing is how well that part isn't really critical 
so I guess this is gonna be the way. Put it through the elastic band, through the oval ring, then back into the elastic band. Uh, can't do it with my hand, but goes back. Then it's gonna stay nice and flat like this side and uh, also same time since this is wrapping up around the clip it's probably gonna prevent of accidental release so in case you have got this snowshoe set um, this probably is correct way to do if not I'm sorry but it shouldn't be very much far from actual correct way to do it. So here is my snowshoes looking forward to be used. Oh and since this is magnesium uh, I'm not sure if it works as the magnesium fire starter but uh, I'm sure if I scrape off a bit of summer here and uh, try to ignite it with fire seal, it probably works. Uh, I might gonna try that just for fun. If I take out from this uh, back tip, it wouldn't harm any function or brakes or anything. So if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna upload it. But it pr might work, might not. I don't know what kind of magnesium uh, metal it is. So. Here is my snowshoes. Uh, I'm hoping that I could get to use this this weekend. If so, I'm gonna upload a quick uh, short video of it. Of it. So, I hope this was uh, useful to somebody or who got this one or who are considering buying one. Um, I know a few people who have got this one and been using it and then um, they love it so I'm sure I'm gonna like this too but but well let's see you never know until you use it for real so until next upload goodbye and see you again